Hey Saints, welcome back to SFHS Today. I'm Raina. And I'm Lauren. On Saturday, November 26th, SFHS hosted a memorial service for Officer Jake Railing in the gym. Officer Jake had served as a liaison officer with the high school as well as chief of police for the city. Jake was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma and he leaves behind his wife, child, and a community indebted to his service. Care 11 News also featured him on its November 26th broadcast and ISC 15 did a live stream of his service which is available on YouTube. Last week, students enjoyed their Thanksgiving meals with their families over the break. Brittany went out and found out what foods people like the best for this week's top five. Stuffing! Mashed potatoes. Turkey. <laughs> Green bean casserole. Pie. With the new try underway, it is time to buy parking passes again. They are $60 for the full try and $30 for PSEO students. This Friday, December 2nd, will be the Holiday Jazz Band Concert held in the Performing Arts Center. Katie, Chi, and Devin went out and got more information. Tonight, Jazz Concert will feature jazz students from 7th grade all the way through 12th grade. Ms. Trevish directs our middle school jazz bands over at St. Francis Middle School. And the PM and AM jazz bands will both be performing songs. Um, they'll have a few holiday songs as they're getting ready for their trip down to the Mall of America later this month, as well as their tour of all of our district schools that they do with our carolers uh, towards the end of the month as well. Uh, it's a free concert. It starts at 7 p.m. Lots of talented students. We have about 40 students in jazz band at the high school, and there's another 40 students or so in the middle school jazz uh, group. So come on out if you've got nothing going on. Uh, free concert tonight, 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. The solo that I have in the upcoming jazz concert is an improv solo, which you take the kind of music that it is, you kind of use that to develop how you're gonna how you're gonna play, and you use that and just keep going. Um, I have a split solo with Mitchell Berger in. Uh, I have well, I have a split solo with him in my favorite things from Sound of Music, and then. I have a solo with two other people, so it's it's a solo, but like everyone plays at the same time, so it's really weird. And I have that in Brick House. I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. December seventeenth will be the winter choir concerts at four thirty and seven thirty in the Performing Arts Center. You can get tickets for three dollars at seatyourself.biz/saintfrancishs. Any remaining tickets will be on sale at the door for five dollars. Staying on the topic of music, the Holiday Band Concert will be on December 20th at 7, also in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $3. In more arts news, auditions for the Winter Competition One Act are Monday at 2.45 in the PAC. The One Act this year is Antigone. Students will be participating in a cold reading and some improvisation. One Act competes in January and February. Seniors, if you want to keep the tradition of a senior all-night party alive, we need your help getting more volunteers. As of now, the party is not guaranteed due to the lack of help. If your parents or any adults you know are interested in volunteering, please contact the current chairperson, Melissa French, at 763-226-3794 or melissa9.french at gmail.com. Reporter Austin Scott spoke with Madonna Arnold, who serves on the committee, to find out more. Um, the senior all-night party has bowling, it has pinball, um, it has... Um, you, 
making bracelets. It's making different, they have tons of different games that you can do. There's raffles for different prizes. Everybody gets some sort of prize at least $15, but then there's like bigger. Last year they had curings, they had big bean bag chairs, they had uh, gift certificates to Applebee's, to um, for gas cards, you know, like Super America or Bills or anything. Um, there's a hypnotist, there's um, people that do henna there, there's people that do massages there, there's food. Uh, <laughs> it's, and it's a good time and we go from like right after we graduate, we, you, right after the seniors graduate to like four in the morning. Um, then we have some big, we have TVs, we have microwaves, we have a lot of other things that are again raffles. And it, it, it is a good time. Um, you pay a, a one dollar, or one dollar, a one time fee to get in. We start in January, the fee goes up, the closer you get to the senior all night party. And they spend all that money just on the seniors. The hard part is, is that the people that have been putting this together have been there for 10, 15, one of them has been there over 20 years, and they don't have kids in the school anymore. They haven't had kids in the school for a long time, and they're done. Um, so we need more people to help out. Um, it's all set up. They say, here's, you know, to go get donations, you can go here, to, they'll pay you back if, if you do this. But we need people to start um, helping us. We need parents. So tell your parents, if you want the all-night party, please help us. We are meeting December 6th. I'll tell you. December 6th at 6 p.m the next Tuesday, <laughs> in my room. So um, December 6th, 6 to 3 p.m., my room. And um, after that, we will discuss where we're gonna meet again. Usually we meet at like Oak Roads, have some food, discuss, laugh about stuff, get stuff done. That's it. Saturday, December 3rd, will be the celebration of Indigenous People event from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at the high school. Activities include a potluck feast, Dakota Ojibwe Star Lab, and the Native American art demonstrations. For more information, contact Ms. Sargent. Our staff member Nasia is from Ukraine and has a passion for breakdancing, making her this week's Five Minutes of Fame. Student celebrities everywhere, this is why you should care about Five Minutes of Fame. I was doing like Native American, Native Ukrainian dancing for about seven years, and I wasn't really satisfied, satisfied with my team. So I asked my aunt if she knows any team who is like looking for dancers. And she told me about hip hop team, break dancing team. And I tried it and I liked it. That's how I got involved. I started break dancing a year ago and hip hop dancing four years ago. How did I figure out she could break dance? Well, we were both at a party and I ended up battling her. And uh, yeah, she won, but it was fun. My favorite move is Smurf move. It's like hip hop move. It's like you're doing like this, and bouncing and grooving and doing some stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite one. What do I think of her moves? Her moves are pretty good. She's got some things to learn still, but so do I. But she's good. Yeah, they're good. Uh, I am in a crew. <laughs> crew got abbreviation bro and simply everyone in Ukraine calls us like bro crew but it's like hard abbreviation it's like hard. I didn't audition it because they were looking for dancers and I just got involved into that because they were looking for someone who can dance at least and yeah, I just got into there. But now, if you want to get into the crew, you need to spend like at least uh, some trainings and rehearsals with our team for about month, half of the year. It's like it depends on your skills and abilities. And after that, you can try for you can try yourself in a battle, in a dance battle. And if you win it, you can be a member of a crew. For me the hardest thing is like being 
really strong enough to hold myself on hands or just do some spins on hands and on head because it requires a lot of strength and as I'm a girl I'm not really strong person and I needed to work out a lot to gain that strength. Do I want a rematch? Oh yeah, I want a rematch. Just be strong and you need to be a really musical person. You need to hear music, not just dance without it or do some moves without it. You need to go with music, music and you need to follow it, not just music separate from you and dancing separate from music. That's all we have for you this week, Saints. Stay tuned for sports, weather, and random question thing. Who is your cartoon crush? Prince Aladdin. I'd have to say Dora the Explorer. Diego. Diego. <laughs> Daphne from Scooby Doo. I'm going to have to say Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Hercules. I was a big fan of Danny Phantom. I like Quagmire from Family Guy. Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Uh, definitely Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Probably Jessica Rabbit. Gary the Snail. Peter Griffin. Um, Fred from Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Courage and Cowardly Dog. <laughs> My cartoon crush is Gene Belcher from Bob's Burgers because he makes some pretty cool heart noises. Hey Saints, welcome to the first SFHS Today sports segment of the winter season. I'm Brianna. And I'm Tyler. Last week the boys hockey team played an entertaining game against Shakopee and won 4-3 with Reese Kaler scoring the winning goal in overtime. Winter strength training is starting up and we'll have two programs. The original strength training for building muscle mass and a new one this year called female fitness. Reporters Tanner Levi and Sarah Zukedu have more information. So this trimester we have a female fitness class that's available after school. It goes from 2.45 until 4.30 and it, again it's only females and the idea is to have um, just a group of women who can work together and support each other and hopefully um, enjoy exercise and get in shape and learn a little bit about what it means to work out with um, like different cardio exercises. Uh, we do muscle toning, we do explosive plyometrics, we do a variety of things every day. And it's not too late to sign up, so you can still sign up online at gostfrancissaints.com. And there's also a muscle mass building class, that's for both males and females, and you can still sign up for that. That's also after school, and that's in the weight room, and the focus is more to increase your muscle mass. And um, Coach Torson, Swaggart, uh, Coach Dunbar, and Coach Stoffel are in charge of the muscle mass class, and then I'm in charge of the female fitness class. I thought it'd be a fun way to be healthy and fit. I didn't want to be a lazy bum, <laughs> and probably to get in shape for track. The muscle mass class um, is on Mondays through Thursdays, and the female fitness class is on Tuesdays through Fridays. After school, 2.45 until 4.30. Wrestling has a tournament at Hastings this Saturday. Results will be posted online. Winter Dance Team has a competition Saturday at Apple Valley and another competition on Monday at North Branch. Results will be posted online. Gymnastics has its first meet December 7th versus Rogers. Girls basketball had a game Tuesday night at Blaine where Saints won 55-47. to Boys basketball has its first game next Tuesday at home against Anoka. That's all for sports this week, Saints. Have a great weekend. Hi Saints, welcome to weather. I'm Chi. And I'm Devin. Today will be cloudy with a high of 34 and a low of 24. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 29. And on Sunday, we'll have snow showers with a high of 37 and a low of 27. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Saints! Saints.